Hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. I am going to do a skincare routine, or I'm going to show you my current daytime AM skincare routine. A couple people have requested it. I can't remember the last time I've done one, and so that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm 49 years old, aging naturally with as much help as I can get, obviously, and typically use only clean ingredients or products. Of course, that's subjective, so make your own decision. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. So it's summertime, it's hot out most of the time, <laughs> and I, this has been my typical makeup routine, this type of thing, if not exactly this exact these exact products every day. So point being, it's pretty basic, it's pretty simple. I do have foundation on right now, but I want, I, it's not a full coverage, which is typically what I wear anyway, is not full coverage. I may only wear a tinted sunscreen most days. I want my skin to look nice, but also as I'm aging, I wanna do what I can to keep my skin looking nice. And so that's what this routine is based on. It's really simple. I am not a morning person. I do as little as possible in the morning. I mean, brushing my teeth is difficult to fit in in the mornings until after I've had coffee usually, if that tells you anything. So I've only got three products to show you, okay? And one device. Typically in the morning, I will splash water on my face. I don't even usually use any kind of soap because I'm just that kind of lazy. But if I do, I'll use a gentle, like a gentle cleanser and yeah, otherwise it's just water. And then once my face is fully dried, I go in with the Nera. It's the Nera Precision Laser. It's, a, it's supposed to have clinical grade results in 90 days guaranteed. I bought this a while ago. I'll put the date on the screen when I purchased it. I took some photos when I first purchased it before I started using it. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in as well so you can compare previously to when I first started using it to now. I have mostly, I'm gonna go into what it is, <laughs> but I've mostly been using it around the eye area, the under eye area and the crow's feet. Um, sometimes I do my nasal labial folds, my smile lines, and also my upper lip has a lot of lines that I have never been a smoker but have somehow acquired, accumulated over the years, and I would love to ease those out a little bit, and so I have started using it there too. The longest I've used it anywhere is the under eye area and the crow's feet. So what this is, is it's a device that uses patented non-fractional laser technology to build natural collagen without pain or redness. What it does is it uses a laser light to heat the dermis cells. You have the epidermis up here on the top layer and the dermis is just beneath it. So it's one layer deeper than the surface of the skin. The idea is that this light can uh, increase collagen, reduce wrinkles, which increasing collagen would do, it'll tighten the skin. It's supposed to, I just saw this on the website, that it may even skin tone and texture, brighten dark spots, improve acne scarring, and reduce the appearance of broken capillaries. I have not been using it on my melasma, like over here I have quite a bit. Uh, well, actually on both my cheeks, I use estrogen supplements because I had a radical hysterectomy over 10 years ago, and so I've been on estrogen supplements. Estrogen increases the risk of melasma, which I started getting as soon as I went on the supplement. So once I saw it's supposed to reduce, what is it, I, what is it reduce, no, brighten dark spots. Once I read that on the website, I was like, oh, I should give that a try. So I need to take some photos and see if it works. In any event, it's $449. It has this little circle and you press it to your face where you want it to work. It's really easy to use. It has five levels of intensity. I'm gonna turn it on so you know it's on by the noise that it just made and now there's a light right here. I have it up to level four. You just push this to change the levels. You wanna do it on clean, dry skin. You just push this button here 
makes that noise. And it'll tell you if you didn't finish correctly, it'll go make a beep or whatever. Anyway, totally pain-free. You just hold the button and turn it off. Totally pain-free, and it all happens in under two minutes. So typically, I get up in the morning, I rinse my face, I dry it off, I brush my teeth while my face dries, and then I'll use this. Once I do that, I'll move on to the next product. I can't look and see that there's a difference, but again, we'll look at the photos, or I may have already posted them. Let's see the photos and see if there's a difference. You be the judge. Let me know in the comment section if you think it works. It is an investment. I've heard lots of testimonials of people that this does work. They now have released one that has a larger area here that you can use on your neck and decollete. I would be interested that in that if I see that this is working for me. It really doesn't take much time, like I said, and I pretty much do it every day. I've even been taking it on vacation with me because this is the one thing that I'm thinking may make the biggest difference. This, to me, seems like it should do more than any of my other products would. Oh, and, the, and this is not the same thing that you would have done at a spa. Those actually break down cells and then the cells repair themselves stronger and rejuvenating collagen. This one uses heat to basically wake up the cells, rejuvenate them, you know, cause them to become activated. That's my understanding. This is obviously I'm not certified in anything to give you this explanation, but that is my understanding of the difference between what you get at a spa versus this. And hopefully over long-term use, this will make a difference. Like I said, there are clinical studies that show that after 90 days, it does make a difference. If I had a spray like a mist, I would go ahead and put that on my face. I don't have one currently that I'm using, so I'll have to check my collection and see. I did have one, but it started to irritate me. Anyway, so right now just on dry skin, I am going in with the Naturopathica Vitamin C15 Wrinkle Remedy Serum. It's in glass packaging, it is opaque, it's airless. And I tell you these things because vitamin C tends to be an unstable product, that's why I think I may switch back to powder that you then mix yourself every time you use it. So that way I know it hasn't oxidized. Um, let me first tell you about this one. It is $128. If you're not familiar with Naturopathica, this is a brand that was founded in 1995 by an, a trained esthetician. She's also an aromatherapy and herbalist with a master's degree in plant medicine. And of course, she was looking for something clean that didn't irritate her skin, so she started this line. It's a hybrid of natural and clean cosmeceuticals, so there will be some synthetics in these products, which I'm 100% fine with. I find a lot of purely natural ingredients actually irritate my skin, so this type of clean I can stand behind for my personal uh, pro uh, skin and what I'm looking for in products. It is 15% L-ascorbic acid. L-ascorbic acid is the vitamin C derivative that studies have been done on and have been shown to be the most effective. Again, highly unstable once it's exposed to oxygen. The claims are that this is effective to stimulate collagen. It helps brighten and smooth texture. You know, vitamin C itself is an antioxidant, so it would combat oxidative stress. It's a great support for sunscreen. It's not a replacement for sunscreen just FYI, but it's great underneath sunscreen. This also contains vitamin E, which is supposed to work synergistically with the vitamin C. It has hyaluronic acid to improve moisture retention on the skin. It also has beta-glucan, which is completely different from hyaluronic acid, but does the same thing. It does contain lanolol and limonene, which are fragrance components. It doesn't specifically say what the fragrance is. It is tinted. It is liquidy, watery. It's a serum. It's, I think you saw, it's sort of an orangey color. The scent is sort of faint citrus. Like they just tried to cover up whatever it would smell like with a little bit of citrus. It's not full on strong citrus, it's just there. It really does rub out nicely. There's no tugging. And now that it's on my hand, my hand just feels smooth. It can remain a little tacky after you apply it, but that's because of the hyaluronic acid and beta-glucan. It's holding moisture in the skin, which will cause a bit of tackiness. However, this has never caused pilling with any product I've used over it. I always put on at least sunscreen on top of it. And I'm just gonna show you the difference between my hands. So I think this one just looks a little plumped, a little smoother, more hydrated. 
and it is. It feels really nice on the skin, especially once it's sunk in and it's no longer tacky. Just feels smooth and yeah, moisturized, a little plumped. So I do like that. I don't know that I will repurchase this though because it's suspended in a liquid in here. And I did look at the ingredients. I believe it's water. And so even though it's in an opaque package, an airless pump, I just don't see how it can stay stable that long. I feel it's got to start oxidizing as soon as they create the product. Why did I buy it? I had a sweet esthetician who I just wanted to support, so I bought it. Just one of those spur of the moment things. I do like Naturopathica as a brand. I don't know that I would buy this again, but I would certainly try other things. I can't say it's not good. I've enjoyed using it. It's worn well under makeup, like I said, or under anything I've put on top of it. And uh, I wanted to add vitamin C back into my routine. I haven't used one or hadn't been using one for a year, probably. I'm not sure, maybe it just felt like a year. It's just such a great antioxidant. It's proven to help rebuild collagen and even texture. It's just a great ingredient if it's stabilized and working effectively. If it's oxidized, it's actually harming your skin. I don't like that it's colored for that reason. Typically you can tell if it's oxidized by it starts to turn a little yellow and then a little orange and then like an orangey brown. Once it gets to that orangey brown, you gotta get rid of it. But I can't tell with this because it's already colored. I don't know if the color would mask the orangey brown or not. Anyway, that's step two. This product is a little bit different for me. It's Dr. Dennis Gross Triple Corrective Correction Eye Serum. It's $71. I wouldn't describe this as clean. I actually got it when I purchased the Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. I think that's what it's called, the face mask with the lights. It's supposed to be good for the skin. It came with it. I held off on using it because it's not clean but everything irritates my under eyes right here in the inner corners. They're very sensitive. Often I peel, I get dry and itchy and red. I have terrible allergies anyway. I'm even allergic to my dog, whom I love and will never not have a dog. So I've tried lots of different things. Most of them don't work. And I thought, well, heck, I'll just give this a try. I've been wanting to try the 100% pure retinol under eye cream because I want to use retinol around my eyes, but you don't, or I don't, you typically don't want to use whatever retinol you're using on your face because the under eye area is extra sensitive. And so you want to get one formula specifically formulated for the under eye area. This one claims to firm skin, boost hydration, reduce the look of wrinkles and crepiness, which is all things that retinol would do. And it does contain three forms, I believe, of retinol. It contains actual retinol, it contains Bacuchiol, which is really an antioxidant that seems to mimic a lot of the results that retinol has. And then it also has Rambutan. Rambutan, Rambutan. It's a Southeast Asian fruit that looks like a lychee. Lychee? Basically, all three of these on their own work differently to promote elastin in the skin and collagen. This also has ferulic acid, which, you know, it's an antioxidant as well. It's known to neutralize free radicals, help protect against oxidative stress on the skin, and counteract any retinol irritation. Again, specially formulated for underneath the eyes. It is a plastic container with an airless pump. This is a gel pure gel formula. It's emollient enough that I actually like, I tap it in and then I rub it around my eyes, including up here and you know, all around. And then it sinks in, there's no tackiness, there's really nothing. It's not particularly moisturizing and yet my eyes haven't been dry now that I've been using it. It wears great under makeup. I've had no irritation with it, no problems with it. I don't know if it's because we've been heading into warmer months when I started using it, and so maybe I'm just not as dry and flaky right here anyway, but I've been really impressed with it. Like I said, it's not clean. It's not something I would typically buy, but it has been working for me, and I've been really pleased with how my under eyes have been looking. I definitely have enjoyed this. I'm still using all these products, I'm not out yet, and I'll continue using this. I won't repurchase this though. Did I say how much it is? It's $71, if I didn't say. I will first search to find a clean version of this. There's gotta be one. There's just some ingredients in here I don't really care for. I'm okay. Sunscreen. 
I have a sunscreen video. I will link that here. You can watch it later. I will also put it in the description box. I did it, I think in the spring, it's pretty current and I, all my opinions still hold. I just selected the Clark's Botanicals Invisible Hero SPF 30 anti-aging sunscreen with hyaluronic acid. So I picked this one to show you today because this is what I put on today. <laughs> it's that simple and I love it. I believe this was one of Oprah's favorite things one year or maybe the retinol cream was. You've got to wear sunscreen. That's the bottom line. The sun is what produces the UV rays that damage and age our skin. It's not just about sunburn. You want a UVA for anti-aging and UVB for anti-burning. That's what the sunscreens will do. You want UVA and UVB. I'm not probably gonna burn most days, but I do even when I'm sitting in here and there are windows, the UV light is coming in and even in your car, you won't get burned, but it's not coated to protect from UVA rays. You're getting the UVA rays all the time. If you care about your skin aging and spots or anything, you wanna wear a sunscreen. This is an SPF 30, it's PA++++. I chose this one because it's moisturizing. Uh, this one has no tint. It does have a little bit of a scent, but all of his products are ja have jasmine flower or jasmine in them. And I'm wondering if that's the scent of this. It's faint and it dissipates quickly, um, but no white cast. Really beautiful. I definitely recommend this one. And that's the final step I've been doing. Like I said, I did go ahead and put makeup on. I will try to insert a picture of my skin probably first thing in the morning before I have anything on. So you can see what it's looking like. I definitely have wrinkles. I definitely have melasma and uneven uh, texture here and there. My skin is not at all perfect. I, you know, it never will be. It's a changing surface all the time. But these are the products that I'm relying on right now that I will, even if I don't use these exact products, I will continue to use a vitamin C serum and under eye cream because my eyes get crazy dry and itchy and flaky. So I just, I have to put something there. Even if I don't buy a separate eye cream, it has to be something that works under my eyes and a sunscreen. And I will probably continue with the device. Even if it hasn't made a big difference yet, I'll be hoping to see a big difference eventually or maybe like footsteps in the sand, like, oh my gosh, imagine if I weren't using it, how bad my skin would look. That is where I am. Let me know if you've tried these products or what your thoughts are on everything, what you're using, what changes you would make to my routine or any questions or anything, I'm glad to answer them. I hope you're having a great summer and as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today. Bye.